seasickness. It's the overwhelming feeling of not being in control. Besides the ship sinking itself, it's the one thing cruisers hate the most. You start to feel dizzy and sick to your stomach. Your skin turns pale. Your neck gets all hot and clammy. And just like that, you puke. But can you avoid it? Will ginger beer and lime really make your seasickness go away? Well, I tested it for you. <sighs> seasickness. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny arrives all the same. And what I mean by destiny, I'm talking about throwing up all over the Lido deck because you've maximized the drink package. I like your style. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it sucks. No one wants to be seasick. So the purpose of this video is to help three types of people. It's gonna help people who are afraid to get seasick and wanna take some preventative measures so they don't get seasick on their cruise. The second is for the person who's currently on a cruise and you're starting to feel seasick and you want it to stop so you don't blow confetti all over the bathroom walls. Confetti is a code word for puke. And the last tip is for people who've probably already popped their pinata all over the promenade Say that three times fast. That was pretty impressive. And you are essentially just looking for something to get you back on track. So let's just dive in. Ahoy sailors, welcome to another day in paradise. My name is Griff and I want you guys to have an excellent vacation. And I tested a lot of the seasickness, motion sickness remedies online so you wouldn't have to and you'll know which ones that work for you. But first, I need to start with a story to help you guys understand which ones work the best. While sailing on the Carnival Paradise, Alyssa and I decided to go to the show. Now, prior to that show, I had like three chocolate thrust leches, and listen, Carnival knows what they're doing, but this is the setup. If you are going on a cruise and you're afraid of being seasick, the first tip is don't eat a lot of sugary food. You're going to want to kind of like hold back on some of that stuff. But back to the story. Now, this was no ordinary show, guys. It is one of those shows that required audience participation. And if you know what I'm talking about, this is the love and marriage show. It's an iconic show that allows couples from all over the world, young, middle, and old, to be on the show, stand up on stage, and answer questions about their love life. And we were selected, and we went on stage, and we proceeded to answer and disclose many, many details about our personal relationship. Now, here's another pro tip. If you are prone to seasickness, you should probably book your cabin towards the middle of the ship, definitely not at the front, and definitely not at the back because it starts to tilt like that. However, like a pendulum, if you're in the center, you just kind of sit in the middle there. Hope that makes sense. But the show was in the front of the ship, which means I was at the very front of the theater, standing on stage, feeling all of the wrath to which is the ocean. And I had to immediately tell the cruise director that, hey, listen, I am going to blow confetti all over this stage if you do not let me go off. And uh, I had to quickly, immediately run to the bathroom, and guess what? That's right, guys. I threw up. Yes, it was pretty embarrassing. I'm not going to lie to you guys, but uh, a friend of mine that was watching the show with us decided to give me some of her prescription medicine pills. She said that it helped out with her pregnancy when she felt nauseated or a little bit of motion sickness, and she wasn't lying. I took the pills without a question. That's right. I took pills from a pregnant lady. And say what you want. It actually worked immediately. Now, to be clear, I think you should consult a physician for some motion sickness pills and prescription drugs. But in this case, it worked. Very, very surprisingly, it worked quickly. So here's the tip. If you feel like you are going to be seasick, I would strongly encourage you to go to a doctor, family physician, get checked out, and ask for some prescribed motion sickness pills that help for nausea. Zofrin, stuff like that. That way, guys, you'll be ready in case something happens. You won't have to take pills uh, from a pregnant lady like I did. So there's my tip. Small break team, if you found any of that information mildly entertaining or helpful, please consider hitting the thumbs up button. And also, if you love cruising, I'm serious. If you actually genuinely love cruising and you do it often and you're watching this video just for entertainment, please consider subscribing to the channel. We're 46,000 subscribers away from hitting 100K, 100K before Christmas Day, and now's a good time to join. Help us hit that goal. Let's jump back in. All right, first of all, guys, if you ever feel embarrassed because you feel seasick or you're throwing up or it's preventing you going on your cruise, just know that you need to talk to somebody. Ask for help, all right? If you do throw up on your cruise, the crew members will help you. They're experienced with these things. They've seen it before, and they'll be happy to help you. Just don't cry in a corner like a baby like I did. Just kidding. <laughs> 
But speaking of more seasickness, I recently went on the Margaritaville at Sea Paradise Cruise. And while sailing in this occurrence, I started to feel seasick again. Now, here's a hack for you guys. In an effort not to spill my guts all over the place, I decided to double down on these next two cruise hacks and test them to see if they actually worked. And the first one is sea bands. And I'm happy to say not only do they work, they work pretty quickly. But I also decided to get ginger. Sea bands use like acupuncture to pinpoint pressure points on your wrist to help alleviate the symptoms of being seasick. It's like a knitted wristband that works because of a plastic knob sewn into the side of the inside of the wristband, which experts pressure and stimulates the P6 or the Nyquan. And it's been proven that it helps with nausea and vomiting. And when I put these on, I started to notice that they were a little bit tight, but not too tight, just, just enough to be annoying. And I wouldn't touch them or fidget with them, but I just kept looking at my wrists. And before you know it, a lot of my focus from being seasick focused to these things on my wrist. And why were they on my wrist? Was this going to work or not? And some sort of weird mind shift happened. Before you know it, I was no longer seasick and more so concerned about the acupressure things on my wrist and whether they're going to work or not. It was this weird inception thing, a mind boggle, if you will, that it worked. I was no longer seasick. But to take things further, I also got some ginger beer. Now, here's a small hack for you guys. Some people swear by ginger ale or ginger beer. However, you need to make sure that it's not the sugary stuff. Remember what I mentioned earlier? Using sugar and a lot of sugary substances will actually make your seasickness and your nausea worse. Don't be fooled. Make sure it's the real thing. Make sure your bartender is giving you real ginger in that stuff. And if they don't know, ask for ginger tea Go to one of these specialty bars. I know one of the alchemy bars has like fresh ginger. Get something in that, some club soda or some ginger beer, and I promise it will settle your stomach to the point where you won't throw up. I stand by that. Combining these two hacks of getting ginger beer and wearing pressure points on my wrist definitely helped 100% get me back in action on the dance floor hanging out with my friends. Also, also, and don't underestimate this, what's really cool about having ginger beer is no one asks why you aren't drinking. You have something in your hand, it looks like it's a cocktail, you're partying, you're having fun, and so if you don't drink, this is also a good way to just kind of float around with the party, but I'm sure you guys know that already. Between prescription medicine and ginger beer and picking a cabin between the middle of the ship and using acupressure points and a bonus tip, using the pads that go on your neck, these things do work tremendously. But if none of that works, you can always use rum. That was pretty good, but uh, this is cucumber mint, but I think you get the point. That's all I got, peace.